Ever thought about the caulking around your tub? Probably not. When they installed the tub, someone took care of that and it's supposed to last forever, right? Well, when it comes to the wear, tear, and constant water exposure your tub faces, forever isn't a very long time. Did you know that even the tiniest crack can allow water behind and below the tub and cause mold, mildew, and serious water damage to the floor below? <laughs> Believe me, it's not a pretty sight. And it can be very expensive to fix. But fear not, recocking your tub is easy. And my friend Steve here is going to show us how. Come on in, Steve. Hi, Dan. How are you? Great. Good, Good to, to see you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look. What do you think? Well, this tub is long overdue for recocking. As you can see, it's cracked all along the edges from one side to the other. And down the sides, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do we need to do the job? Well, we've got a caulking gun. We've got a tube of silicone that'll match the tub and tiles. Some mineral spirits. A six-in-one tool. And a roll of paper towel. All right on. So, we've got everything we need for the job. All right, let's get started. First, remove the old caulking with the 6-in-1 painter's tool. You can use caulk removers or softeners to help the process, but read the warning labels carefully, as the softener could soften or damage surrounding plastics. Once you have most of the old caulking off, use a soft cloth or paper towel soaked in mineral spirits to remove any last traces. Dry the areas with fresh paper towel or a hair dryer so the new caulking will adhere properly. Trim the nozzle at a 45 degree angle near the tip like this. You're aiming to create a hole that is just big enough to fill the area between your tub and tiles. Now pierce the tube so that the caulking can flow easily. Remember, not all caulking is the same. Check the back of the tube for specific instructions for that particular brand. Now's the fun part. Load your caulking gun and you're ready to get down to business. Hold your gun above where the tub and tile meet at about 45 degrees out. The most important thing to keep in mind is the speed and bead. Make sure they are steady and equal. It may take some practice with the trigger, but once you get it, you'll save a lot of time in cleanup and you won't use as much product. When you have finished caulking, run a finger dampened with water or mineral spirits over the joints to spread the caulking into a concave bead like this. Make sure all ridges, bubbles, and imperfections are smoothed out and cleaned, and then leave the caulking to set for at least 24 hours before using your tub for a shower or bath. Well, that's it. We're all done. Wow, that really cleans it up, huh? Much better than replacing the floor or repairing the ceiling because of water damage or mold, huh? Definitely. Yeah. Now, this is one of those jobs you can do yourself, but if you feel a little uncomfortable with it, make sure you call a friend, like I did with my pal Steve here. Hey, that's what friends are for. Hey, thanks, Steve. No problem. All right, let's clean up.